they actually yeah, never released how the funding was going to work for subsequent years until the ICM session. So I remember sitting there going, <laughs> I wonder if I heard that right. And then somebody in an ICM room leaked in and just said, will you repeat that again about yeah. what needs to happen? And, and someone said, what about our five-year-old? And mm -hmm. people at the DEA, you really need to get them out of your four-year-old program so you can truly have yeah. a four-year-old program. And then go to some kind of intermediate kindergarten program for those kids. You just are a little concerned about whether they're ready or not. And the good part about that is then those kids, like I said, that went to that more traditional kindergarten program, if they found, if we found by, you know, the beginning of fourth quarter, they weren't really we want where we wanted them to be, they could always stay there a second year and they're just fine because other peers that were their same age will come from an optional or transitional kindergarten. Um, somewhere I have the numbers. I think we have about 18 five-year-olds. 15 or 18 five-year-olds between the two programs that we're planning on going to preschool rather than kindergarten. And at SAC, we have low numbers in kindergarten. Um, so we, we just want to look and see what it looks like. And okay. Okay. But I think a little different issue at Wall Lake because there are more kindergartners, I believe. Well, but we got our first little bit of funding, so that's good. Yep, yep. Anything else, Mike, or do we just... Um, other than I'd like to publicly thank PPO for buying all the pride medals that kids with no referrals will get the last at their awards center. Um, seven hundred and some dollars worth of medals, so and they pay for all of it. So go to those fairs that they have in the gym and all that stuff. Because that money comes right back to us. 